Waking up here right next to Abel Tasman National Park is like waking up in a massive aviary. There's just so much bird life here. And it starts early in the morning, just before sunrise, when the roosters from the neighboring farm start cockadoodle doing And then it's just a cacophony of bird sounds. It's pretty much impossible to sleep in, but that's okay, because it sounds pretty cool. The pukekos, which are the Austral Asian swamp hens, are mating right now and they get pretty freaky when they're mating they're, they make these crazy noises I haven't been able to capture it on film yet because they're they're real skittish but their coloration is beautiful they have these bright red beaks and these purple feathers and and the mating is just real quick the male jumps on top of the female there's a lot of squawking and rah, 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 and it's over in about 10 seconds but once they roll up next to the van and start mating it's even worse than the roosters so you got the roosters you got the mating pukekos the wekas actually aren't that loud but when they're right next to the van they're kind of make these <laughs> sounds and i noticed in particular there's a, a few baby wekas running around and so the, the parents are making that sound to alert the babies that they have some food so when they have a worm in their mouth they go <laughs> and the babies run over <laughs> and grab the, the worm out of the mouth just a ton of birds here. I've seen some shags, some herons, some shell ducks, and they all have their distinct sounds. A funny thing about the Pukekos, is when we first got here, oh, oh, they're mating. Missed it. It was over that quickly. But a funny story about the Pukekos, is when we first got here to New Zealand, um, we were driving down the road and Sam was like, stop, stop. There's that endangered bird. And there's a field of them. So there's a there's a bird that's endangered here in New Zealand called the takahi, and it has almost identical coloration, a red beak and the kind of purple feathers, but it's a little bit plumper and it is flightless. So the pukekos and the takahi are distant relatives. The pukekos can fly, the takahi can't fly, which is one of the reasons why they're endangered now. So 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 one of the first times we we're out in the country and Sam thought she saw a field of the endangered Takahi and it turned out it was just a field of Pukekos and that's always a, a funny story we like to think about when we first got here how kind of naive we were like oh there's a field of endangered birds New Zealand is amazing another bird sound that we often will hear sometimes early in the morning too especially if they land in that tree right next to where we have the van parked are the Tuis and the Tuis, I think, are really fascinating because they have a sound, not always, but sometimes the sound almost reminds me of R2-D2 from Star Wars. It has like a very kind of like, I don't know, weird and mechanical. And the first time I heard it, I was like, that bird sounds like R2-D2. They don't do the exact same call every time, so sometimes it's, it's more R2-D2-ish, if you will, more mechanical, kind of steampunky, droidy than others, but uh, pretty fascinating, the twoies and just the, the melody of all of these bird sounds makes for quite an amazing way to wake up here in Abel Tasman. Infamous.